Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie begins with a young black man, Jakor, sitting in a car at night in Oakland, California, reading a poem. His car is seen driving away, setting the stage for the unfolding. Jakor arrives at a house, and takes out a gun. Inside, Malcolm and his wife are returning home from a party. As Malcolm's wife enters a room, she finds Jakor waiting there, and he shoots them in cold blood. In court, Malcolm's mother, Leslie, repeatedly asks Jakor why he committed such a heinous act. Despite her emotional pleas, he remains silent, and he is ultimately sentenced for the murders. Jakor is sent to prison, where he begins to adapt to the harsh environment. The prison is filled with people of all ages, all serving sentences for various crimes, illustrating a shared narrative of punishment and loss. Flashback to 13 years ago, we see a young Jakor. An older boy approaches and snatches something from him, leading to a fight, where Jakor is beaten. Later, we meet Lamarck, who asks Jakor who hurt him. He lies, saying he fell. From that moment on, he and Lamarck form a deep bond, and become best friends. It delves further deep into Jakor's troubled past. We see his father, JD, who frequently beats him, while his mother, Delanda, tries to understand JD's harsh ways. Despite the abuse, when JD confronts Jakor about whether he has been beaten, he denies it. The next day, he joins a group of children carrying stones, and attacks another boy, hitting him from behind. As the boy falls, TQ, another boy in the group, starts kicking him. Lamarck watches from a distance. This violent incident cements Jakor and Lamarck's bond, and they remain inseparable from then on. Jumping forward 13 years, Jakor and Lamarck are now partners in crime, seen robbing a man together. Enraged by the man's words, Jakor beats him severely. Later at night, they and TQ sit together, planning their next move. A man approaches TQ, leading to an introduction to Malcolm. Later, Jakor is seen trying to sing in a music room. After struggling to fix his throat, he finally starts singing. As he exits the room, he notices TQ talking to Malcolm. Feeling uneasy, he returns to the music room to meet Lamarck. Back to the present, when Jakor was first sitting in his car. Stunner's younger brother, Rollo, approaches Jakor, and informs him that the men standing nearby are Malcolm's men, and Jakor needs to handle them. He however does not respond, leading Rollo to leave. He is then seen walking with other prisoners, when one of them tries to pick a fight with him. As Jakor prepares to defend himself, another prisoner intervenes and stops the altercation. Next, Jakor and TQ are talking at Daniel's funeral. Stunner and La Trice arrive, greeting everyone, and handing a box full of money to Daniel's mother. Stunner then approaches Jakor and TQ, asking them if they know anything about Daniel's death. Both deny any knowledge. Stunner reveals that Jakor's father was caught in a drug case, and mentions Malcolm's name, indicating his involvement. Later, Jakor is with Shantae, and after introducing her, he leaves. She notices Trek sitting in a car, and talks to him. Jakor gets into the car, and TQ offers him weed, which Jakor starts smoking. Flashback to how Jakor and Shantae first met, and how their relationship developed. They share intimate moments, and during one of these moments in the bathtub, Shantae reveals that she is pregnant. The news brings immense joy to both of them, marking a brief moment of happiness amid their turbulent lives. Desperate to provide for his growing family, Jakor frantically searches for a job, but faces constant rejection. Frustrated and disheartened, he visits Lamarck's house. Lamarck, recently recovering from an operation, inquires about TQ, but Jakor hasn't seen him in days. They sit outside and talk, and Jakor shares the news that he and Shantae are expecting a baby. Lamarck is genuinely happy for his friend. Back in the present, Jakor makes a phone call from jail, but the call is abruptly cut off. In the same prison, he observes another inmate, reflecting on his circumstances. A flashback reveals a younger Jakor with his father and mother, driving in a car. Later at night, a fierce argument breaks out between JD and Delanda over financial issues, which a young Jakor overhears with difficulty, absorbing the tension and hardship of his family's struggles. In the present, Delanda visits Jakor in prison. She berates him for his actions, but also tries to make him understand that JD's harshness was meant to be beneficial. She stops Jakor as he is about to leave, emphasizing that despite everything, he had the potential to rise above his circumstances. Back in the past, in a brief respite from the tension, Jakor and Shantae are seen in a car, spending some quality time together, trying to find solace in each other's company. Jakor finally finds work at a sports shop. However, a white woman enters the shop, and eyes him suspiciously, highlighting the prejudice he continues to face. 
Meanwhile, TQ, still entangled in criminal activities and working for Stunner, calls Jakor. Their conversation hints at the ongoing complexities and dangers in their lives. At night, Jakor and Shantae head to a party, where they meet TQ. Afterwards, they go to a car racing ground, and enjoy the thrill of the races. Later in a parking lot, a shootout erupts. One person is killed, and Stunner shoots another person who was already wounded. In the present, Jakor reads a letter from Shantae, and looks at a picture of their son with JD. Delanda had sent it to Shantae. He sits next to JD in jail, and they have a conversation. Back to the past, Jakor is seen praying in a church. Delanda talks to a teacher, and his grandmother joins the conversation. At home, his grandmother talks to him, but JD arrives, leading to an argument between JD and the grandmother. Jakor is then seen singing a song with his friends. He later talks to La Trice and Stunner, followed by a conversation with TQ. They meet Trex, who shows Jakor an adult tape, that upsets him. He walks down the road with TQ's bicycle, disturbed by what he has seen. The tape was from Shantae. He goes to her house, takes her car and belongings, and starts to leave. He doesn't want the mother of his child to be involved in such things. Visibly upset, he is seen driving a car. He is frustrated with his life and the lack of opportunities. He eventually finds work at a sports shop, but the struggle to stay out of trouble is ongoing. One day, Jakor and TQ are chasing a car, and they become nervous when they spot a police car. The police start following them, and soon both are arrested. At the police station, an officer questions Jakor about the ongoing conflict between Stunner and Malcolm, but he denies knowing anything. Then Delanda bails him out of jail. Curious about where she got the money, he asks her, and she introduces him to her new boyfriend, Ray. The three leave the police station, but the conversation turns heated, leading to an argument between Ray and Jakor. In his anger, Jakor picks up a large stone, and throws it at Ray's car. Despite Delanda's attempts to stop him, he fights Ray, beating him up, until knocked unconscious by the car. Due to this violent outburst, she kicks Jakor out of the house. Homeless and desperate, he ends up walking with a gang in jail, where he becomes further entrenched in the criminal world. In jail, he meets with Stunner's group. Stunner brings food for him, and after eating, he starts feeling a sense of belonging. Stunner then plays his YouTube song for the group, and for a moment, he feels a fleeting sense of pride and connection. Flashback to young Jakor sitting in a car with his father, JD tells him that he loves his mother, but doesn't have much time for him. This moment reveals the complicated relationship between father and son. Back in the present, JD visits Jakor in prison, trying to reconnect. He is isolated, feeling alone despite the interaction with his father. He visits the hospital to meet Shantae. They learn that Lamarck, who has been injured, will never walk again, leaving Jakor deeply troubled. In another flashback, young Jakor overhears JD talking, and follows him. He witnesses JD shooting someone, and then runs away in fear. In the present, he goes to a location where gangsters check his car. Sitting in the car, he breaks down in tears, overwhelmed by his circumstances. He eventually agrees to work for Stunner and La Trice, who are pleased with his decision. Next, a girl informs him that his father is a dealer. While walking on the road, he sees JD involved in a deal. This realization adds to his turmoil. Returning to the first scene, Jakor sitting in a car and reading a poem, drives away, and encounters Malcolm. Flashback once more to young Jakor. After JD leaves the car, Jakor meets with the drug dealer Malcolm, pleading with him not to sell drugs to JD. Malcolm dismisses Jakor, laughing and saying that JD is his best customer, leaving him feeling helpless. Returning to the pivotal scene where he shoots Malcolm. He asks Malcolm if he recognizes him before pulling the trigger. After the shooting, he and Shantae go inside their house. He hides the gun and money on the couch. She questions him about what he did, but he remains silent. They kiss and fall asleep on the couch, trying to find a moment of peace amidst the chaos. The next day, the police arrive to arrest him. He tries to run, but is quickly caught, and taken into custody. In prison, he reflects on his life, and fears ending up like his father. He places a picture of himself and his father on the wall, symbolizing his internal struggle. He then talks to Shantae, expressing his desire to hear their child's voice. She plays a recording of their son's voice, providing him with a brief moment of solace. Ray visits him in prison, and they have a conversation, trying to make sense of their complicated relationship. Meanwhile, TQ, who calls himself Predator, is seen in various scenes. Stunner and La Trice, along with Raffle, approach a man named Trek, and start shooting at him, 
showcasing the violent world Jakor is entangled in. TQ is also arrested, and given a knife by another inmate. When he meets Jakor in jail, TQ attempts to kill him. Jakor however manages to turn the knife on TQ, killing him in self-defense. Jakor then sits with the other prisoners, a mix of remorse and relief washing over him. On a hopeful note, Jakor meets his son, and Shante assures that his son will not end up like him or JD, and together they visit JD. The three of them plant a tree together, symbolizing new beginnings and growth. They sit together under the tree, finding a moment of peace and connection. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.